it is time for a book review of Away by Jane Urquhart. Yay! All right, there we go. Hey everyone, it is Shannon. I'm excited to share this book review. I don't usually do book reviews unless it's on one of the lists that I'm working through. Um, but And this one actually happens not to be on any of the lists that I'm working through. That being said, it is an excellent book. It is a Canadian novel and I adored it. So I decided I'm gonna talk about it anyway, especially since in the past couple of years, I really enjoyed and embraced my love for Canadian fiction. <laughs> so anytime there is a Canadian book that I wanna talk about, I decided I'm gonna do a review on it. So Away by Jane Urquhart. This has actually been on my radar since it came out back in 1993. Um, and uh, that is primarily because at that time I was working in bookstores and it sold like hotcakes. Like, honestly, I sold so many copies of this book and it was unbelievable. Um, and um, it actually won the Trillium Award, which is an Ontario literary award, which I did not even know about until I started researching it today. So it's kind of funny. Um, I knew it was a bestseller because I sold a lot of them, <laughs> but uh, I didn't even really super know what it was about. And that's one of the challenges I find actually with this book, because technically I would say you know, it's a historical novel that, and it follows a family, mostly the female, um, the women of a family over a couple of generations. Uh, but I don't, for me, I'm not super drawn to historical novels. So like, I kind of like, feel like I don't want to say that, but it is the truth. And it follows a family where um, it starts in Ireland and then comes over to here in Ontario. And like, that's why I got the trill. And one of the parameters for the Trail Limit Award is showing Ontario society or Ontarians. So I, it's funny, even reading it, I kind of forgot that it was about Ontario. <laughs> kind of funny. Um, anyway, <laughs> I don't really have a super sense of Ontario, like, even though I've lived in Ontario for almost all of my life, it's, I don't know, if I saw a picture, I would probably know whether it was Ontario or not, but I don't, I don't know if us Ontarians have a particular personality or anything like that. Anyway, back to the book. So this, yeah, oh my gosh, I just love this book. I loved it so much, like from right from the beginning where it talks about the women in the family and what they're like, and there's this lineage element to it that I absolutely loved. And it was a non-traditional in the sense that the the generations don't even necessarily know that much about each other. And because it starts in Ireland and then it comes here to Canada, like there is a bit of a distance piece from their own history. But the thread of it that for me really, really just I, I adored was this element of it's not exactly magical realism, but it is to me, it does feel magical, but it also feels realistic. Like some of the stuff just feels like, wise women and you know and a knowingness and uh, following your own spirit and heart and and all of that kind of stuff so it's like there was i think there's probably only one thing in the book that actually truly feels like magical realism to me but actually knowing you know going back and thinking about it it actually there probably was a realistic explanation but for me it really felt like magical realism when, like so much so that I thought it was it, it was going to go in could be possibly into the land of fae at some point but um but it's in some ways it's really set in harsh reality of tough times and you know coming to Canada and you know in the 18 I don't know 50s you know like around roughing it in the bush around the same time where it's like there wasn't much you know, around and you really had to fend for yourself and like, you know, make the land livable and that kind of stuff. So there is that element to it as well. But for me, it's really about the women and this, I don't know, this pull that they have this, you know, to, to dance to their own tune to follow their it's kind of weird. I want to say follow their heart, but that's not quite what it is. Because follow your heart feels like something that you want to do. And often this doesn't feel like something that they want to do. They have a draw, they have a, a not a desire, but they have a longing for something. And definitely the idea of a way is that it actually it literally as is sort of um, not in the present, you know, the people in Ireland called the character that she was away, that she literally 
was elsewhere here we would probably now we might call that something else um but or maybe not maybe that's exactly the same hasn't changed i have no idea but there's this i like this longing this something else is out there element to it and also this knowingness element to it which happens sort of to different characters at different times kind of thing that is just miraculous and beautiful and haunting and, and wonderful and just i don't know there's something really really special about it and uh, feels almost intangible and as you know other parts in the books there like later it's a bit more sort of feels like grounded in reality um and there's uh sort of political elements to it as well um but for me it always sort of come came back to the women of the family and how their lives are lived and what what they are drawn to the this the song that they hear you know is is one way to think about it and i just adored it i absolutely adored it the, the like i don't even really it's one of those books that i and i often have trouble maybe this is one of the reasons why i'm deciding to do some reviews of canadian fiction is often i find them really hard to talk about because it's something about the the pace of the writing and the use the beautiful use of the language my like journal was just covered in quotes from this book just every time i read it i just quote after quote after quote after quote the language is gorgeous and insightful and beautiful and haunting and i loved it in all respects and it's one of the things that sometimes i find um challenging is when you get down to sort of like the nitty-gritty of what's it about i feel like that's not even what like that's not even what matters and of course it does matter and of course it helps us make decisions on the books that we want to read but sometimes i feel like it's not this one's not the best example for that because i do actually really like this i can articulate the story a bit more than some of the other books i've read but it does like there how it's written and it's like the essence of it the underlying message the tone the vibe i get the world i feel like i'm in when i'm reading it is just different and so the the what's it about and what happens feels a little secondary um although of course it's important to 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 you know to know the story and understand the story and stuff like that but like it's just there's something more to it there's something more to it anyway i absolutely loved it i would highly recommend it and if you're you know not sure and feeling a little like uh, i think you know really quickly for me i was sucked into it very quickly and just fell in love with it so i think that's it's probably pretty easy to tell from a sample whether or not it is a good fit for you and for me it was a perfect fit it did take me a fair amount of time to read it took me the whole month and uh, which often happens with canadian books and i think that that actually made me realize that with um that it said uh, canadian books are ones that i actually want to to buy not only to support canadian authors of course but also because i often can't finish them by the time i would need to return them to the library because i need a whole month to do it <laughs> sort of side note on sort of like you know how you get your books and you know how you organize your reading and stuff like that um but yeah so i was really happy this is actually my sister jamie's copy and it's been on my my shelf for ages i think it actually went in, even into storage I'm so sorry, Jamie, I will return it to you. Um, and so, but I am planning, and I would recommend it, obviously. I also am planning on reading more from this author, specifically The Underpainter and Changing Heaven. Those are two books that um, I know that I've heard a lot about from both uh, my sister Jamie and also my mom. I think she really, she felt like The Underpainter would be a great, something great to be adapted um, to film. So I'm very curious as to what that one is about and I know that Changing Heaven has a sort of kind of feel to it that I felt when I read this one. So there you go, Away by Jane Urquhart. Let me know if you've read it, if you loved it like I did, if you read any of her other books or if you and you'd recommend them or if you recommend anything similar to this because it's very different from a lot of the books I read. A lot of the books I read that have some element of magical realism are very clearly sort of like fantasy or urban fantasy but this this one just just had something special and I would love to read more. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching.